Okay, so the soldier attacked Rice, and I made that mistake of not moving Rice the turn before. And now, okay, that, that soldier's going for Oscar. And Oscar sucks. He cannot do anything to him. And there is the damn thief burning down the building. And I'll just, I'll keep my language somewhat clean, but that pissed me way the hell off. And, yep, too bad, uh... You don't get to see that frustration, but... But okay, now what am I trying to do? Okay, I think here I'm trying to decide what the thief is going to do next. Because I know there's a house down there. And at the, at the time, I didn't realize there was another house. But, um... I decided to put Titania on one side and Oscar on the other. And whichever way the thief went, I could get to him. So... That's what that was about. And probably just... I was going to say, probably just leave Oscar alone. I don't remember. Uh, I think I desperately want him to do some damage to that knight, but it's it's just not in the cards. It is not meant to be. But uh, Boyd could take out that horse thing. I know he could. Do I do that? Maybe? Possibly? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, so... I think... I can take him down with Boyd and use somebody else to kill the not or the, the soldier. And I think that's exactly what I'm doing. But who do I choose? I don't remember. It wouldn't surprise me if I chose Rolf. And it looks like that's the case. Yep. Here is some experience, Rolf. And a level up. Okay. Was it a good one? I don't remember. Yeah, well. I mean, they need speed. Archers need speed, so... But they also need skill, and they need... They need a couple other stats, but... Anyway, let's visit with Karen now. And what do we get from here? Okay, I must have read the dialogue when I played. Alright, well, what are you giving us, lady? You are giving us a Draco... Okay, Draco shield. That's nice. I think that raises your defense or something. And I should probably use it. When I play these games, or play Fire Emblem, I hardly ever use those. Mainly because I forget about them. But, um, I don't know. I should try to use it. But what am I trying to do now? I would imagine I'm trying to look for a way to take out that knight or something. And for some reason I put Nefni there. It's kind of weird watching, I mean, commentating over a Fire Emblem video because I don't remember the strategies that I had and uh, I don't remember what I was thinking when I was doing certain stuff so sometimes I've done a couple of things uh, uh, watching it I guess I've done a couple of things and been like why in the hell am I doing that? that that doesn't make too much sense but at the time I had a perfectly good reason for trying to do that so Man, I hope the microphone's recording. I didn't think to check it before I started recording the commentary right now, but... Anyway. And the... Damn it. Stupid Knight is going after Oscar Steele, and he is not going to be able to do anything to him, obviously. And there goes the thief. And yeah, the thief, like, went right to my people. That was, that was really weird. I kind of laughed for a little bit about that. And what am I doing? Trying to take him out with the vault? Or... Okay, no, I'm not doing that. I guess that was stupid. Yeah, I think I was considering this thief as free experience for somebody. Because the thief is not very strong, and somebody could get some good experience. And uh, some easy experience, too. So, yeah, I think I was going through all the different people and seeing the damage and who I wanted to finish him off and all that. All that good stuff, and I guess I decided on Nephany. And probably clean up with Rolf. Exactly. Man, I knew myself better than I thought. Alright, more experience for Rolf. And he got most of a level there. It's like 50 or so. 50 or so experience. And I think I'm just looking around right now. Trying to figure out what to do. Um... At some point, I realized there's another house in the top right, which I don't know right now. And I'm also trying to make a strategy 
for getting somebody to talk to Zahark, which is pointless. I mean, I can't recruit him anyway, but at this point, I, I kind of thought I had to have a Laguz to talk to him from his dialogue, but uh, I didn't know for sure. So I was still going to try to talk to him with Ike or somebody like that, but uh, if that didn't work out, I was planning on just killing him because I knew I knew it was probably a Laguz I had to have, so I knew that uh, it was not going to work out. But uh, yeah, that's. I was I was pretty disappointed too that I couldn't get Zahark, but eh, then I thought about it and I was like I probably wouldn't even use him anyway. Just one of those characters I never really got into, I guess. But uh, okay, well, I guess I want that knight to go after Boyd or something. Oh, and I get to heal with Oscar. That was smooth. It was a nice setup. Okay, so I guess Mia is going to stick in the back now, and so is Braum. I mean, I, I've used Braum a couple of times, though, when I've played through this game, and oh boy, needs some healing. And he goes after Boyd. That is probably not a good idea, Mr. Soldier. And it is not. So now you have 7 health, and somebody's going to get a kill. But probably not just anybody, because knights have a lot of health and a lot of defense and not many people can just knock off seven health on a on a night. I must be reading this. A subhuman has been spotted. Come, let us join the thrill of the hunt. Yawn, hmm, let's not. Even if we don't lift a finger, McCoy's pups will take care of everything. Battle glory awaits. Would you allow others to steal this chance from beneath your very nose? Yawn, go entertain yourself, will you? Fight a soldier or lance a peasant or what you will. But for the love of flying, stop interrupting my sleep. <laughs> that sounds exactly like me. Oh, you're such a... The fighting, um, let me when it's done. And he goes back to sleep. That sounds like me too. Yes, have you changed your mind? You'll wait here with the rest of us. We don't move unless we're attacked. That's the word from the top. And Jill is not happy about that. And thankfully, I do not go and try to recruit her, because from what I know, you cannot recruit her in this chapter. And I kind of thought that while playing, but I didn't know. So I just went with my instinct and didn't try to talk to her or anything. So that's that. They don't even... I don't think they move unless you go to attack them, so... I just stay away from them and... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to kill the knight now. And Rolf does an amazing zero damage, and he will do that twice. So I don't want to use him. But who is there? I think I end up probably using Soren. Yep, that's what it looks like. As though knights have high defense, their resistance usually sucks. And for some reason I picked fire. I would like to get Soren's magic things up. All the different magics. I would like to raise those levels. I know he has a higher wind level. But I would like him to have higher levels of all of it. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do that throughout the game. But let's... I guess we're trying to kill this archer now. But how do we do this? What am I trying to do? Can narrow him down with Oscar, and okay, we're doing that, I guess. And now somebody can get a kill on him. Probably roll for Mia. Looks like I'm using Mia. And am I not? Yes, I am using Mia. I don't know why I didn't use Bulk. I probably should have. I think it's because Mia is probably a lower level than Bulk, so I wanted to get her some experience. Although, Volk really... I really want to put more experience into him, so I'll probably start doing that. And now there's a horseman there who's probably going to ruin my day if I don't kill him. And I can do that in one shot. Or technically two shots, but... One round, I guess. And Rolf can do a whole four damage. Wow. And Volk can do a whole four damage. And Boyd. 
boy can... Okay, that's... That'll leave seven damage. Nobody else is doing seven damage. And that is perfect. Look at that. He'll, it will leave one health. So that is an easy kill for somebody. Surely, yeah, a bunch of them can take off one health. Hopefully everybody can take off one health. And it's like I'm using Rolf again. Yep. So, goodbye soldier. Hello experience for Rolf. And another level up. That's two level up so far. For Rolf. Which is good. I want him to be pretty strong. Alright, boy desperately needs healing. So what am I doing here? What is the plan? Ah. Okay. That was pretty, pretty smooth. So that gets Boyd some healing and he can now take more shots if people start running up again, which I don't know that they will. I think everybody's out of range right now and nobody wants to move towards me and they're not going to move. Which is good. So I'm guessing I'm just moving everybody up right now. Not much, not much for Brom to go to, but I don't want him to get lost and left behind just in case. Because, uh, of course, I don't prepare for these chapters beforehand, so I didn't know if there would be any reinforcements. I did remember one thing about the chapter, because uh, that little house over there by Zihark, that's like surround, or that it's next to the little, the little, uh, little stream thing. Yeah, I knew something happened with that house, and from the dialogue before the battle really started. So. I knew something happened, but uh, I didn't know about other reinforcements or anything like that, so I wanted to be prepared for that just in case, so I was not separating anybody. And right now, just moving everybody forward, I don't think I have any real strategy at this point. I am making sure and keeping all the healers and, the, and Rolf between people so nobody can pop up out of nowhere like out of that house and and attack them. Alright. Titania should be the last one. Enemy phase, what are they going to do? Oh, that horse is coming. More toys to play with. And I must be thinking who to kill what with. You know, Soren is really, really a useful character to me because a lot of times people have high resistance, I mean high defense, but not high damage. And so Soren's just kind of like a wild card that you can, you can usually count on him to do damage to somebody. So I like having a high level mage for that reason. And... What am I doing? Am I trying to decide how to kill this priest over here? It looks like that's what I'm doing. But there are horsemen up there. Shouldn't I, shouldn't I be concerned with them more than, than the priest over there who's not going to attack? Maybe that's why I'm moving Nephni forward so she can attack the priest. Uh, she wouldn't do well against the horsemen. And Ike would kill... Okay, I'm going to take that. Ike will kill this first horseman. Pretty easily, too. Now what? Oh, I'm going to use Boyd and take out this one. Or am I? Am I going to take him out? Yes, okay. So, Ike and Boyd, the two... Probably the two strongest that I have right now. Just took out those two horsemen. And now what? Now am I taking out the priest? I don't think Soren will do very much damage. Priests usually have high resistance, and I, I didn't even want to check. Screw that. I don't have time for that. And, oh, I was thinking hard. Thinking hard about using Mia right there. Uh, knowing me, I'll, I'd probably take him down with Rolf and just use somebody else to weaken him beforehand. And that's probably what I'm doing. 
Yeah, seems that way. Mia gets a little experience, and so that means Rolf can... Well, maybe I use Volk. Do I use Volk or do I use Rolf? I... Uh, uh, I use Rolf. Okay. That's what I was thinking. That is what I was... What I was thinking I would do. And now... I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but... I guess it's time to move everybody for... Oh, I needed healing. That's what I was checking, to see if somebody needed to be healed. And now I can move everybody forward. And move Brom forward. And Oscar. And... Titania and Kieran. But not in that order. So that that's almost it for this turn. Okay, there we go. End of turn.